Okay, everybody always asks me, how do you put on a, a comma? How do you, you know, get it to where your sword's gonna, you know, fit right and uh, it's not gonna be too tight or too loose or fall off and that kind of thing. So I'm gonna show you how I do it. Uh, you know, if you have a different style, just, you know, do whatever works for you. But, okay, so what I do is I take just the OB. Now this is different if you have a, uh, you know, karate belt or something like that. But uh, OB, I like the OB because you can tie this loose and your hakama tight and then that gives me the best control over my sword when I'm training. So what I do is I get the uh, gi kind of tight and I hold my left hand here to keep it tight and then I start the, the band and then I just wrap it around and this will you know just take a bunch of doing it to get to where it's natural for you. So I get to where it's all the way around and then I kind of know how tight I need to get it. So uh, about there is for me. I've done it a few times, so you just get the knack for it. And then I take, I'm sorry, I take the, the front one that I bring around and uh, I pull my belt out and I tuck it straight down without a knot in it. I tuck it straight down and then I just pull it straight down so it kind of hangs kind of down like a tail. Then I take this little piece over here bring it over, put it in front, and then I wrap it around twice. And the reason I do this is it gives me a good, um, uh, a, something to set the back of Hakama on, okay? So then I take the belt and I just move it around to the back. So you have the knot in the back. The only difference if I'm gonna uh, do Aikido or something like that, then I won't put that big knot in my back so you don't roll over it, that's just, you know, just know that. Okay. Now, with your hakama, I kind of step into it. Now, this is a Bujin hakama from back in the 90s, and so it, I, I don't know what I'm going to do when I replace it because it's, it's the best one I've ever had, and they don't make them anymore, so I don't know what I'm going to do. But at any rate, there's a Bujin, so it has real long, uh, longer than most. So you may have to modify from what I'm doing, but what I do is I put it in the front and I put the front just above the belt. So I want the front part on top of my obi, and then I want to go around real tight to the back and then I reverse it. And then from there, I, when I get it tight, I go down because I want to wrap it low or below my obi and wrap it down and then I bring it in the front and then I cross it, okay? And uh, it's hard to explain. So I cross it, keeping it tight, and then, uh, this is actually not how I do it. So let me do it again, not think about it. So here I bring it around. Sorry, I tie it, the front one I tie in back. So I bring it around low, so it goes, below my belt so that I have this, you know, idea. And then I bring it around to the back and I tie it in a knot below my belt, okay? And you just have to do this, you know, uh, done it enough times where I, so you just tie that into a knot and then I take these, put them down inside. And then I bring my koshi up and uh, set that so I get the straps undone, and then I set this above that knot so it, it can't fall below that knot. And then I bring the straps down below, bring them around underneath so it goes down and underneath so that now when I tie this, this needs to be tied very tight. So when I get this tied, I pull it tight and kind of suck in my gut a little bit, and then I hold it, and then I put my finger on the knot so it doesn't move, and then I bring my, and then I pull the knot so it doesn't go loose when I'm tying it. And then uh, I do this, this is from uh, when I used to do Iaido, but I, I bring the knot up, and I just cross it, cross it across the knot in front, and then I take this and uh, 
bring it up over the top, down through the bottom, and then I do it one more time, and then it looks a little, should be a square, not quite a square now, but, and then uh, you're all ready, and then I just bring this one up, it's already up, take this one, bring it down, so I've already got it there, so now what I can do is before I train, I just grab this, pull this out a little, and now I'm ready to bow in because I don't, you know, I've got my uh, OB on the outside and my Hakama keeping everything tight on the inside. So that's, you know, uh, I'm ready to put my sword inside of there. So that'll keep that uh, nice and uh, uh, easy to train with. So I hope this helps out to put on your Hakama.